it's Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some advice I have for your freshman year of college. So I definitely wanted to um, make just a general freshman advice in my back to school series because it was so scary and moving away from home for the first time can be terrifying. So I thought I would just share with you guys some advice I had for college, um, just like moving day tips, um, just general freshman advice, what to do when you're homesick, just everything we are going to cover today. So so yeah, it's gonna be the huge just jumble packet of advice. So it'll be great. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe down below to my channel if you are not already. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's kind of just start off chronologically, which the first thing you will be doing at college is moving into your dorm or wherever you're living. Well, Move-in day can be very intimidating because you have all of your stuff in your car and you just start piling all your stuff in carts and taking it up to your dorm and just you are left with a huge mess in your room. What I suggest for this day is to wear a very, very comfy outfit. Um, something definitely like wear a cute outfit. Um, I mean, I'm not saying like go wear like your nicest like clothes. No, like wear something that's like super comfy and cute and casual just because you're gonna be meeting everybody on your floor so you want to make a good impression but you also want to be really comfortable um, for your move-in day but don't wear something that's gonna be super super heavy because you're probably gonna end up sweating um, while moving all of the stuff up to your room and unpacking and everything so wear something that is either like with layers so you can kind of shed your layers off as you get warmer um, or just something like shorts and a t-shirt uh, just because you're probably gonna get hot even if it is a cooler day because it will get hot and you will get sweaty and you don't want to be a hot and sweaty mess when you meet like your really cute neighbor like I did last year and so just don't make that same mistake that I did once you get all of your stuff in your room yes it will look crazy and trust me it will all fit I know I had a ton of stuff and my parents were like this is never gonna fit why did you bring all this stuff it will fit, don't worry. Just make sure to unpack everything as soon as you can, as soon as possible, just start unpacking and getting your dorm room really homey. You don't wanna have boxes sitting around your room. It's miserable living out of a suitcase as well, so get all your clothes unpacked, all your bathroom stuff, all of your decorations. It is a lot of work at first, but it will be worth it when the next day you can do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about unpacking your room or anything. And finally, when your parents do leave um, after dropping you off or whoever is dropping you off, your family, your boyfriend, your brother, your girlfriend, your, I don't know, whoever's dropping you off, you probably will get a little bit emotional. I know I started crying when my parents left and both my parents started crying and it was just a cry fest, but it's natural. Everybody's crying that day um, when your like loved ones are leaving and it's definitely okay to cry um, when you're saying goodbye, but just don't like don't just go back to your room and just sob all day I mean cry a little bit and then not like oh get over it but like you know just accept that okay they're leaving I'm starting a new adventure by myself and it'll all work out even if you don't cry when they say goodbye but later at night you're you kind of cry by yourself it's all right everybody does it um, it's your first day it's you know only natural to be a little bit sad um, when it's you're kind of closing a chapter of your life so that is totally okay and definitely normal and make sure if your family is dropping you off hug them and thank them for all that they have done for you because they have dealt with you for 18 years and I know like my parents they missed me a lot but just make sure to thank them for the 18 years that they have had with you like all the time like 100% at home because our parents do a lot for us and it's definitely important to thank them and your family um, just you know thank them for all that they've done and just for the support that they've been it's not that they're not going to be there for you anymore it's just gonna be a little bit different and it's definitely you know different than living at home and having your parents do everything for you you have to do everything for yourself now so just thank them for doing that after you are all settled make sure to get to know your roommate um, this is definitely important and you'll definitely like get to know him or her um, while you're unpacking everything once you're already like all unpacked make sure to just get to know them because you're going to be living with them for the next nine months so it's important to get along with them and get to know them and um if you don't get along with your roommate just try um just you know 
put your differences aside you're just living with this person and you don't have to be best friends with them you just have to live with them if you have a problem talk it out with them don't kind of leave it under the rug and just let it like fester and get like bigger and bigger and bigger um just try and talk it out talk out your issues don't be afraid to do this because i mean you're an adult now so you have to start doing these things um but don't be afraid and just you know tell them hey i don't like this or maybe we should do this differently um just get it settled and get it figured out as soon as possible so you're not miserable the whole year. And then also one last little tidbit for your move-in day, make sure to get to know the campus as well. So just after you're done unpacking, go walk around campus, kind of map out where your classes are and go walk that path of where you're gonna have to go in the mornings or whatever. Just find your way to your classes, find your way to the best food spots and the best study spots and just kind of get to know where you're at in relation to where your classes are and all the important areas you need to go but I definitely recommend doing this I did this and it definitely saved me because I had trouble finding one of my classes and I got to figure that out before um, I actually like was going to class for real so just get to know your campus and walk around and this is a great chance like if you see someone that you've kind of talked to already be like hey do you want to walk around campus with me I'm just gonna go figure out where my classes are and I just want to get to know campus a little bit better um, I did this and I ended up making a really good friend um, because we walked around campus together and she was like I want to find my classes do you want to help and I'll help you so just it's a great way to get to know people and get to get to know your campus so I definitely recommend that your first month and kind of like first couple of weeks of college can be very very scary it can be really nerve-wracking um, you are probably gonna be homesick um, at least for the first week I definitely was and I didn't print out any pictures before I went to college so the next couple of days I made sure to print out some pictures and I just print out as many like as I could and I put them all around my bed and it definitely helped so much I didn't even realize how much it would help just kind of having pictures of my loved ones around me um, that definitely like made my room a lot more brighter and more homey um, but definitely do that kind of just print out pictures um, to battle the homesickness because you will be homesick it's just kind of a fact of college you know your first couple months or I mean, maybe not that long but like your first couple weeks definitely are gonna be hard because it's it's a transition and no transition is really easy um, but it'll be hard the first couple of days and but just like just realize that you're in college it's gonna be really exciting you know once classes start you're gonna be busy so you're not gonna have time to just sit around and miss home so just definitely you know realize that it'll be all be okay um, everybody's in the same boat you know we're all homesick so just you know talk to people about your home and your hometown and your friends and your family um, and just listen to other people because it's great to kind of you bond with others when you talk about um, to other people who you're close with and your hometown and you get to know other people so just really do this it really helps I think the first couple of days are probably the worst just because you haven't really started classes yet so you kind of have like time to be like oh my gosh if I was home right now I'd be doing this and I really miss you know my dogs my cats my family my parents my friends um, but once you start classes you start getting into a rhythm and a routine and it really like starts to become normal and then you're really busy with homework and everything else and making friends and just like having an exciting time in college so then it really really does get easier and the first couple of days and your move-in day especially I forgot to touch on this leave your door open um, to your room I mean obviously while you're in there but leave your door open because people will poke their head in say hey how are you doing you know my name's blah 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 and it just really helps to get to know people um, I my roommate and I we did this um, because nobody else was having their like doors open so we like just any door that was open we you know said hi cards against humanities like we had a little game in our lounge with our whole floor and that was crazy because there were so many people but it also kind of broke the ice and we all became really really good friends after that um, so it's just really important just to kind of break that initial ice and then you will make great friends I promise you but just leave your door open and don't be afraid to say hi to people I am a very shy person and um, it was really nice when I left my door open and others would say hi and even when I went out of my comfort zone and said hi to them um, it's just really important just to get out of your comfort zone and say hi to people and get to know others because if you don't do it initially it gets harder and harder so just like get out there start doing it and go for it and don't worry like everybody nobody's gonna stand there and be like why are you talking to me like don't even look at me I mean everybody's gonna be so scared as well so just make sure you talk to others because 
like chances are other people are gonna be wanting to make friends as well so just kind of reciprocate that and you know talk to other people and don't be afraid to make friends because we're all in the same boat here and we all want to make friends and make sure to call your family and your parents and your friends but don't do this too much you don't want to be calling your parents every other hour i mean once a day is totally fine i mean that might sound like a lot to some people but at first if once a day is what you need that's totally fine i mean at least text them once a day when you actually do start classes make sure to ask questions um, from your professor or your tas or other students you know that's a good way to make friends is if you're like sitting next to someone be like um did you just understand any of that um that really helps because if you're confused there's probably someone else who is confused um so just ask questions of everybody like around you um and your professors like to have um questions asked um they're not gonna like totally shoot you down i mean they like to talk to students go to your office hours don't be afraid to get to know your professors ask them questions about lectures they have office hours for a reason um they're not just sitting there thinking oh man i really hope nobody shows up today i mean they have these hours for students to come in and ask questions and if you are confused at all definitely clear that confusion up and make sure you make study friends i mean just friends in general but people who you can study with in class especially if they are hard ones make sure to make friends in those classes so you can all study together for midterms and tests and anything that's coming up because it will help you later on I mean two brains are better than one it's really really important to kind of collaborate when you're studying it really really helps and even if you need some extra help I mean chances are like students can help you and then if someone else needs some help you really really can learn from teaching someone it really solidifies knowledge when you teach someone Someone else um, so make sure to do that as well um, it's kind of a collaborative process and it's really beneficial for both people so make sure to do that and make sure to form study groups that you will actually study with college can be scary you will be in different situations than you ever have been um, but it's also kind of like it's gonna be the best time of your life and you're gonna have stories to tell your kids later but you definitely will have some great memories from college it's just it's a lot different from anything you've ever experienced I mean you're on your own for the first time and you have to make decisions by yourself and just make sure that those de decisions are good ones um, don't go around totally like getting blackout wasted your first week of college that's a bad idea don't put yourself in any dangerous situations um, just have fun mostly but have fun in a safe way um, you know make friends because they're probably gonna be the friends who you have for the rest of your life and I mean that's definitely not like a over exaggerated statement um, you are gonna like these people are gonna be your family I mean obviously you will make stupid decisions and you'll learn from them but I mean it's the time to kind of make mistakes in college so don't like don't totally beat yourself up if you do make a mistake or anything it's the time to learn from these like crazy mistakes but just remember that you're gonna have a lot of fun and it will all be worth it in the end and you're just gonna have a blast make sure you are actually putting effort into your classes and your learning because that's what you're there for is to learn also don't be too concerned with picking a major at first because you will probably change your mind a, like several dozen different times. I did. I went into college thinking, oh, I'm going to do this and blah, blah, blah. And I changed my plan like four different times. So don't be too concerned with picking a major, sticking to it. And just like that's the one plan that you have to do. You cannot ever change your mind. Everybody does a couple of times. Um, try to do it, you know, try to, I mean, at least decide by like sophomore year so you're not like stuck like senior year. Like, oh, well, I want to change your major. You know, take some really fun classes that you can't in um, high school uh, so yeah so just don't be too concerned with picking a major and sticking to that plan it's okay to change your mind everybody does so don't be too worried about that all right well those are all of my tips for your freshman year I hope you guys all have a really really fun freshman year I had a great freshman year I have some great memories from it and um, you were just you're gonna have the time of your life in college so definitely look forward to that and don't be too nervous um, this time like coming up to college like still enjoy your summer a little bit of course thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below with your advice for freshman year if you've already gone through it or things that you're scared about just anything leave a comment down below but i will see you in the next one bye
It's been super hot, but they're really nice for like in the afternoon when I'm going somewhere um, like out to dinner and I want something that's going to be not too warm 